Hello all, Shoestring here. Today what we're going to talk about is how to size your solar system up. This is a question we get frequently, and it's important. Until you know the size that you're going to need for your solar project, you're not going to be able to get any of the equipment that goes with it, or what exactly you can use. So we're going to walk through this step by step, and let everyone see how we size this up and get an entire solar setup ready to go. First thing we need to know is how many watts we're going to need. To do that, we're going to use a kilowatt right here device that measures watts. So we're going to have two items today we're going to do. We're going to do a lamp and we're going to do a fan. So the first thing we're going to do is the lamp. We're going to, you plug your kilowatt device in, and as you see, this strip is powered because the light has come on. You're going to take your lamp or whatever your device is, this time it's the lamp, and we're going to plug it in. And then we're going to turn it on. As you can see, the numbers start to move. And that is 9.4, 9.5. So I always round up. And I will say 10. That is 10 watts. And you can do any device just like this. So now we're going to turn the lamp off. Unplug it. It will go back to zero. And now we're going to do a fan. small fan like you would have in a child's room. We're going to plug it in and we're going to turn it on on low. Now remember the fan and other items with motors will change how many watts depending on how fast they're running. Right now we're doing the theory of a small child's room when the grid has gone down and you want a fan and a small light in there. And this is 33.4, 33.5. So we will say 35. 35 watts for the fan on low. Now for our example, we're going to leave it on low. But let me put it on to medium so you can see how that changes. As you see, the watts are moving up. Put it on high. And it jumps up. But back to low because that's what we will be using. You want to be very stingy with your electricity use when the grid's down and you're powering all of this yourself. Now let's go on to the next step. To determine the proper size for your inverter and battery, we have to multiply the watts times the hours. So in this case, as you saw, we found our two devices were going to be 45 watts. We want that to run eight hours. So that will come up to 360 watts. This 360 number represents the amount of power you'll need to run the light and the fan overnight. If you have anything less than that, you could very well get a power failure. So your inverter has to handle no less than 45 watts. Typically, the smallest inverter you can buy for general purposes is a 200 watt inverter, which I have right here, and that's the one we'll be using. So we selected a 200 watt inverter, this one right here, and of course I'll put a link to it below so you can see it. Let's go ahead and hook that up so you can see that it works. Black, then red. Turn it on. And there's the light. And we will turn the fan on low like we had it during the test. And they are now running. 12 volts, 35 amp hours, right? Comes out to 420 
which is what this 35 amp hour AGM battery has. So this will be sufficient to run your device for eight hours. Now I have another inexpensive one here. It is also sealed lead and it is 12 volts and 18 amp hours. But as you can see on the little card I put here, it only does 216 watt hours. So 216 watt hours will not fulfill your requirements. It will run it, but it will not run it the whole eight hours you want it to. Now we selected a sealed lead acid battery as opposed to a wet lead acid because we want it to be sealed. If you have a wet lead acid where you add the water to it, they do fumes and you do not want them in the house. So use seal lead acid or an AGM or a gel or even a lithium. But don't use a wet lead acid, especially if it's going to be in a child's room. You don't want it anywhere in the house, but especially if it's in a child's room. Okay, now that we have determined the size inverter and the size battery we're going to use, now we have to talk about how are we going to recharge it. We're going to talk about our solar panels. What size, what watt solar panels do you need? So we already know we need at least 360 watt hours to be put back into the battery we selected. What we're going to do is take the average amount of sun in a day. Now, your, wherever you live is going to be different. And summer and winter is going to be different. So please research this. Lots of websites will tell you how much sun in your area in any given day. But we're just going to use the average in the U.S. So we take our 360 watt hours and we divide it by five. Like I said, which is the average hour of the sun and we get 72 watts. So you're going to need a solar panel that is at least 72 watts. Now you'll probably want to boost that up because remember, the more solar power you have, the faster your battery is going to charge up. Now I would of course tell you to get a 100 watt solar panel and it will quite easily charge this up. Now, while we're doing this, let's talk about charge controllers. If you'll recall, solar panels don't get directly to the battery. They get connected to a charge controller to protect it. Now, we're still doing 72 watts just because we're doing the math. You can move this around as you need to. 72 watts, okay, for a solar panel. We're going to divide it by our battery size, which is 12 volts. 72 divided by 12, of course, is 6. Now, charge controllers come in amps, which is what we just did, 6 amps, but you won't find one that's 6 amps. So your best bet is to get a 10, which I think is the smallest. Look at the prices, same thing with these sealed lead acid or AGM batteries, or even the lithium, price them. So you want a 100 watt solar panel at least to charge this up and you want to get a charge controller that is at least 10 or 20 amps. Make sure we have that right. For a 100 watt solar panel a 10 amp charge controller will do. All right folks let's sum up what we have here with our solar system. We have determined the solar system we need to run our light and fan will be a 100 watt solar panel, which of course go, goes to the charge controller or charge regulator, must be at least 10 amps, goes down to the battery, which we determined would be a 35 amp hour sealed lead acid battery, because it has to be used in the house, so only that, AGM or lithium. Then we come over to our inverter, which we need at least a 200 watt inverter. And you plug your devices, your light and your fan, into that inverter and you have it. That is a simple, 
solar system. So if you like these kinds of videos, please subscribe and like and put something down in the comments. I get a lot of suggestions on videos to make, things people want to know by the comments below. Shoestring out.